Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best MEDC. And basically, since I started this channel, you guys have been asking me how I store my EDC gear. And I knew pretty early on that it was going to have to be some sort of robust system for storage because, well, I have a lot of gear. And most options for storing EDC gear aren't quite big enough. I think this is probably a little overkill for some of you, but there are probably many of you out there who need something similar to this, if not the exact same setup. So that's what we're talking about today, but before I show you that, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am now uploading videos to my other channel, the Taylor Martin channel. It's linked down below, or you can just search Taylor Martin on YouTube and you'll find it. It's one of the very first results if you search Taylor Martin, so you can find it there as well. But basically, it's just all the stuff that I'm not doing here. Everything that I want to do and talk about that's not EDC, it's all going to exist over on that channel. A lot of behind the scenes stuff, building things, making things, camping outdoors, everything that I'm into other than EDC, obviously all those videos stay here. So go subscribe over there because YouTube is actually going to demonetize that channel unless I can course correct. It's been monetized for like seven years and now apparently it doesn't meet the requirements even though there are almost 100,000 subscribers over there. Doesn't matter. So if you could do me a huge favor, go over there, subscribe and watch the videos. That would help me out more than you know and I would be forever indebted to you. So go check that out. But now let's talk about how I store my everyday carry gear and let's do the damn thing. So here it is. This is the solution I came up with probably about a year and a half ago, maybe a little longer, but it is a two cabinet Craftsman tool chest, a smaller top cabinet and a larger bottom cabinet on wheels. And I've just been covering it in stickers since the day that I got it. And I definitely feel like I could use more stickers, but uh, we'll not dwell on the stickers too much. The chest is holding all of the goods. So more stickers inside the lid. But up here in the very top compartment, I keep all of my watches. Um, this has changed more than anything, mainly because I go through so many watches, but it's kind of uh, settled down now. So this is what I'm using to store my watches for now. I go back and forth between wanting to keep them here in this cabinet and wanting to keep them at home. It's really nice and convenient to have them here because if I want to make a video, all of my stuff is here, but also I like switching out watches and I'd rather have them at home sometimes. So a lot of them travel back and forth between home, but the ones that don't go with me often stay in this cabinet. And you can see I've got some of my bracelets and my most used straps over here. I've got my Laurier, the Casio Royale. I've got my Damasco, Marathon, Christopher Ward, Laurier, Gemini. And then these are all the watches that have been sent to me that, again, I don't necessarily consider part of the collection. Underneath, in this first drawer, there's a whole lot of goods. So here we've got a bunch of pry bars. We've got some Brassworks, a Zero Feud. That is a Brassworks cap lifter. Uh, Zach Woods, APB1, a lot of Zero Feud gear here. We also have some coins from, there's the Knife Life coin from Blade HQ. A lot of Shire Post Mint. Some Pete's Pirate Life stuff. Some dice from him as well. We've got more pry bars like your Lynch Northwest. Vero EDC, some Griffin pocket tools, Coke tools, and then over here on this side is all beads and key organizer things, minus the Faro again. So that's it for drawer number two. This one honestly doesn't get touched a whole lot. This one stays mostly the same. Underneath this drawer is pretty much all utility knives. So I got a bunch of TPTs. We've got a Giltec Ruck, the one that I customized over at Rick's shop. 
another Giltec rock. Some of the ones that I talked about in the video that I made a very long time ago. Here are two Topo TPT slides that uh, were sent to me from Big Idea Design that I haven't opened yet. They just basically this, just unopened. And then I have a stack of handkerchiefs here in the corner, North by North and Mighty Hanks, and one from Atlas Creation here. Uh, these are coming back. Actually, Mighty Hanks is working on these now. And some zipper pulls from Pete. A lot, of, a lot of Pete's Pirate Life stuff in here, mainly because Peter's a friend of mine and, and sends a lot of stuff. So the next drawer, the way this one is, is a bunch of traditionals and slip joints. We have all of our Swiss Army knives here, some Opinels, all of my fixed blades minus the ones that I have elsewhere. And in here, there's a Browse Blades something. Came with Battle Box. Benchmade Proper, the uh, James Brand Elko from Urban EDC Supply and some Gerber dimes. So that is all in the third drawer. Fourth drawer is pins and knives. So for the longest time, I've kept all my pins in a cup. No joke, it's right here. This cup right here, which is a, a camera lens. It looks like a camera lens, but it's actually just a little novelty cup. I literally just threw all of my pins down in the cup and <laughs> not the best way to store, you know, $100, $200, $300 pins. Uh, and then I have overflow knife storage. I'll show you more about my knives in a minute, but these are all the knives that aren't going in my Pelican case. So just some overflow, whatever doesn't fit in the Pelican. This is more or less stuff that I, I carry more often than the stuff I have in the Pelican case because these are more accessible. I don't have to open up the case. I can just open up the cabinet, pull this drawer open really quickly and get to my knives. So we've got Sabinza 31, a Peña Mula, Shamwari, Quiet Carry Drift, uh, Arc form slim foot. I'm blanking here. I've got my hinderer up here. Uh, Berg blades pup. Here's the micro transient. This is a mini bally. This is really cool. I haven't shown you guys this thing. I posted it in some photos, but it is just a little miniature bally. Really cool from 365 terrain. White. Cool. I like it. Kind of impractical, but it's still cool. The next drawer is actually just kind of a junk drawer. It's a little overflow of everything. I've got some screwdriver multi-tools up here, lever gear bit vaults, edge hog comb, some, uh, these are G-clips, I guess, from Spyderco. I've also got a lot of spare scales in here. These are for the Vero Synapse. I've got some paramilitary two scales here, my original Benchmade scales for my bug out. Here is a little Hinderer XM18 three inch scale. We've got a bunch of Urban Carvers quick releases here and then sheaths and multi-tools that uh, don't really get used a whole lot. All right, now we're moving into the lower cabinet and down here, first drawer is just a ton of flashlights. These are all of the flashlights that I either am not carrying or are not in some sort of organizer or backpack. Got a bunch of O-lights here at the bottom, just a whole bunch of magnetic ones. Uh, up here, there's a mixture of Prometheus, Lumen Top O light. Uh, there's a Streamlight, Rovivon. Just a little bit of everything here. Uh, these are ones that I, I don't even think that's a Phoenix. These are Phoenix. Some spare batteries, and then over here in the middle of the drawer, I've got some of my nicer flashlights, like the Okluma DC One. I have a Lumen Top Tool FW3T and a Raylite Triple Dawn in titanium, and then Nightcore and another Rovivon. So overflow flashlight storage is a little intense. The next drawer is really the last drawer of gear, and it is the most intense. This is all leather goods and wallets, and things are just double, triple, quadruple stacked in here because there's just so much. So I got all my notebooks on the top left, some metal and Kydex wallets here, just a bunch of wallets and organizers. There's really no rhyme or reason to this drawer, mainly because if I organize it and I close it, it just slides around anyway. So I try not to dwell too much on this drawer and just try to keep it as organized as I can. The bottom two drawers aren't really filled with gear. This one is boxes, just product boxes. And actually the bottom one is too. So it's just overflow for keeping these boxes that I've got that I don't want to throw away for stuff I might sell or stuff that has sentimental value. But that's really it for the cabinet itself. The only other thing is my Pelican case with my knives. So here is the Pelican case. This is actually a drop exclusive. This is a Vault 110, Vault 100, something like that. Uh, I'll link it down below, but this is a drop exclusive. 
There are other Pelican cases that are the same size that you get with different cutouts on the inside. So this is the one that has kind of like a, a show or a display top layer. The other ones have vertical slots for all your knives. So you can store more in them, but this one kind of looks cooler and you can have quick access to some of your more used knives, I guess. And then the bottom layer is more horizontal and not really uh, a display case, but I don't really have a rhyme or reason to how I put stuff in here. It's really just whatever fits in the best in the slots. Things down here I don't carry as much or are too big to fit up top, um, but everything just kind of gets tossed in here and I'll pick up a knife I want and throw one in its place and rearrange. But yeah, so I keep all my knives in this nice little Pelican case from Pelican, but also drop. There are two other things that I use pretty frequently for storing gear, and mainly if I'm taking stuff with me and not staying here at the office. First up for my watches is this Boulder Supply Company watch roll. I just like that it was like this OD canvas with some leather accents, but it holds four watches. It's got a nice little uh, felt inner, and it's just good for you know taking four watches with me if I'm going on vacation or going out of town or just want to take watches home for the weekend. But I also have this, which is something similar from Art Company for my knives, and it's a watch roll that holds seven knives. Pretty much the exact same concept, but this one doesn't have to have, you know, felt on the inside or or kind of a soft, no scratch inside. It's, I mean, they're just knives. So you can buy this one from Art Company. I don't know if you can buy this separate from Boulder, but there are a million different watch rolls. I just use this one because it's... I have it, that's why I use it. That's it, that's how I store my gear. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe, see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you are interested in anything that I talked about in this video, it'd be linked down below and most of those things will be affiliate links. So if you purchase anything using those links, it helps support what I'm doing here. You can also support by going to patreon.com forward slash bestmdc or carrycommission.com where you can buy gear and merch just like this shirt directly from me. Also, be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us in most places at Best Damn EDC. And of course now the second channel, which is Taylor Martin. All of that stuff is linked down below. But with that said, and until next time, carry on.